what's funny, I was actually on YouTube and in the UK blogs, now I can't tell you if this is the truth all through all of YouTube land, but in the ones that I was watching, instead of calling it a rant, uh, they would call it a waffle. <laughs> Now we're going to have a bloody good waffle. So get ready, get set, strap yourselves in. We're going to have a waffling good time and catify the world. Come on, you. First of all, look at this here. Not bad, huh? Look at that right there. Kind of prototypical, but it's coming. Keep your eyes, your ears peeled for this one. Anyhow, today uh, I want to talk about this concept of the raw cat. And how does that become a rant? Very easily. I don't want to see a cat in a sweater. I do not want to see a cat doing something that if the cat could speak English, they'd be like, hell no. What is the raw cat? It's, it's the concept that I use all the time when trying to explain to you guys, you know, what it is to be pretty much a wild animal in a home. Like I always said, they wake up in the morning, they go, hunt, catch, kill, eat, groom, sleep, rinse, repeat, let's do it again. And of course, in the meantime, there's snuggles, there's love, there's a little bit of quiet time, but there's always that raw cat. There's always that cat who goes, I need to get up high and survey my territory. I have to get in the bush and hunt my prey. It really galls me that we still sell cat clothes in pet stores, that we still think it's okay uh, to, to sell little tutus and I just think that if we're going to encourage them to be their best cat self within our four walls we have to thank them for doing stuff for us in the first place. Case in point, this litter box, the ones that are self-cleaning so you never have to look at litter. We clearly have a hang-up about what cats do. I, I don't think that you should scrub out your litter boxes and bleach them and, and make them smell crystal sanitized clean to the human nose. You, you've heard me talk about what I think about toilet training cats. It just, the cat would be going, you want me to go on the toilet. Do you know the massive favor that I'm doing for you by going into a box in the first place? I mean, out there, I'd be going like every 10 feet, marking everything in sight and pooping and peeing everywhere. And I've been doing it in a box. I love clicker training for cats. You know I love positive reinforcement, operant conditioning. You know I love all that stuff. And it keeps cats mind and body occupied. But then we take it a step farther. You know, once we get to the point where cats are performing tricks for humans, where we charge admission for cats to, I don't know, juggle, I don't know. It's just so demeaning to the animal. And if you see something going on where you go, uh, oh, follow that thought for a second. Animals deserve the same amount of, of dignity than humans do. I mean, at the end of the day, there are 90 plus million cats in homes in the United States for a reason, we love them. And we don't love them because they act like dogs. And we don't love them because they act like children. I hope that we have them in our homes because they act like cats. And we respect that. My hope is this, folks, is that when a cat walks in a room, all regal and lovely, you take that second and you go, man, that is one gorgeous animal. I don't need to put a hat on that animal. I don't need to hide this animal's litter box underneath a floorboard in the garage. I don't need to declaw this cat. I don't need to make this cat who he's not. He's gorgeous just the way he is. And I'm telling you, in terms of the work that I do, helping people understand their cats to help correct behavior problems, this is ground zero. You are who you are. And likewise, your cat is who your cat is. Now, if you know me, you know I'm, I'm all about the challenge line. I'm all about making your cat the best version of themselves that you can make them. But that doesn't mean making them more human. And that is the period on that sentence. I know we've got plenty more to say about this, and we can talk about it more in our upcoming Google Hangouts. You can also leave me comments in the comment section below here. And let's just, let's be nice about it, but let's remember, 
What would the cat do? I'm off to go and enroll my cat into law school because that cat had better start paying the bills around here, man. You know how much that cat costs? <sighs> Until next time, all light, all love, and all mojo to you. Mm. You're a bad cat. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm just misunderstood. Meow.